before we were recording, um, I did say, look, looks different. Um, so for those who are viewing us now, wondering who this guy is, <laughs> how different <laughs> Luke has become, what's your explanation? How much weight have you lost? Um, to this day, I've lost about 120 pounds. I got about 40 more to go that I want to lose. Um, I, I probably lost about 14 inches off my hair and about 120 pounds. So that's amazing. How, how did you manage to do that? Um, well, I didn't gain the weight by eating one pizza, so I didn't lose the weight by eating one salad, right? Um, <laughs> you know, it was it was kind of funny. I actually didn't realize that I was that overweight, which sounds kind of crazy. You know, I was kind of known as like the fat pickup pickup artist RSD, right? And I just had no idea. I mean, my my results with women were better than ever. Um, everything was good except for my health. You know, I just had to. Um, you know, I was drinking too much alcohol. I was eating too many desserts. You know, and I was traveling so much. It got to a point where I could barely sit in an airplane seat, you know. I mean, I could be- I, I couldn't really fit in a normal sized airplane seat, and my knee kept hurting. And I was like, you know, I'm I'm getting old. I mean, I was like, you know, 33, 34. You know, as you get older, you know, you you just can't do all of that. And I just realized that, you know, there's nobody in the world better than me, especially at that time, teaching social circle concepts. Um, but then at the, at that moment, I realized that at a certain point, I'm just not going to live long enough if I keep you know, acting this way. So it has to be about your overall pie chart of a man. And, you know, at the time I just, you know, I was, I was getting guys great results, but then my own life, um, I started to just realize I wasn't really living the life that I thought I deserved just from a health standpoint. So I got blood work up. I got, you know, every marker was like what you could imagine from a, a health standpoint. So I really um, just got myself away from a lot of bad influences, whether that was people, the food. So I got, um, you know, I started uh, working on my mindset first. So I got a great mental performance coach. Then I got a great uh, trainer who tracks calories, macros, all that kind of stuff. You know, my my uh, all my weights, uh, all my lifts are heavier than they've ever been. You know, I work out seven days a week, even if I'm on the road. Um, I eat, you know, between 1,800 and 2,100 calories a day. It's all tracked. You know, what gets measured gets improved, whether that's with game, pickup, dating, or your fitness. So I just realized I just wanted to have a lot more longevity for myself, my clients, my family, things like that. Yeah, you mentioned alcohol there. Do you drink alcohol anymore or slowed it down at least? Um, I, I pro- so right now I'm doing, I'll do three months of zero alcohol and then I'll do like a drink or two a night um, if I'm doing, you know, if I'm going out or whatever. I'm not, I'm not zero alcohol, uh, but like I'm not sober, but I am zero alcohol for now, if that makes sense. At the end of this, at the end of this run, it'll probably be about four months. Actually, I'm kind of extending it. Um, I don't really ever feel a need to drink. Um, I definitely don't drink when I go out and, um, you know, take clients out and meet girls, or if I'm just out gaming or anything like that, I definitely don't, don't drink anymore. When I used to drink, you know, I mean, there'd be nights where I would drink 15 to 20 shots in a night in Cabo and then spray. I mean, I remember a day we sprayed a hundred bottles of champagne in the club. And I mean, I was, I mean, we were drunk for days at a time, you know, 10 years ago kind of thing. Right. Um, and it was just, you know, I just, I live kind of this, this high life, so to speak. Right. So, you know, all my clients were crushing it. Um, you know, I was coaching seven days a week. So it kind of got to a point where, where um, you know, it was a little bit more of that party lifestyle. Uh, but now I just find that, you know, even even the nightclubs at this point, you know, most of my clients are going to high-end restaurants, high-end sushi places because they have businesses to run during the day. Or, uh, you know, I box now every day at 7 a.m., right? So I can't really be drinking at night because it impacts me uh, for the next day. So I, I really don't see a day that I'll, I'll drink more than one drink in my future for for probably ever again. Okay, um, I have I haven't been uh, drinking alcohol for a few years now, actually. So I got married in 2019, four nearly four that. years ago, and uh, the last drink of alcohol I had was on my wedding day. It was champagne. Well, hey, if, the, if there's got to be a last last day to drink, that's got to be it, right? Exactly. That is my point. So yeah, you have nailed that. Uh, so that that was my mindset. Like how, how can you possibly top something like that? Champagne, wedding day, you just can't. And it was just a, a great time to really call it like, that's it. That's it. I don't, I completed that game, uh, that kind of thing. So it's, it's not something I ever uh, relied on at first, maybe because a lot of people feel like 
uh, they needed to get more social and stuff like that. But four yeah, years I, I for me, where, I think that's I think that's where it always causes problems, right? Is you know, if anything, if like I never really, I was never really a shy person, you know. So for me, I never needed alcohol to break out of my shell, kind of thing. I think some people use it as like liquid courage or social lubrication. Um, for me, you know, I it, it was never really about you know about that. But yeah, I mean, if for example, if a guy is is drinking to get into state, or if he's you know if he's having a few beers to you know to kind of get warmed up or whatever, that's definitely a bad a bad path. So at the end of the day, I mean, alcohol and, and drugs in general are probably a a bad idea for most guys.